So for this one, I think they're testing whether or not you can do addition and also to see if you're lazy and you're just trying to do it in your head. Because I can't add this number up in my head. I have to write it out. Now, anytime I get an addition problem that's written horizontally, left and right like this, I always set it up vertically, top and bottom. And when I do it, I make sure I keep the columns nice and straight. So we have one, five, eight, two, and I'm spreading it out a little bit here just to exaggerate a little bit. And then I have six, seven, six, one. So seven, six, one. And this is addition. So what I'm doing is I'm just going to go straight down and I'm going to look. Two plus one is three. Now, eight plus six, I know that's 14. But again, look, we have four. You have three number fours there. So they're giving you three possibilities here. So, but let's make sure that you know that this is the right number, that eight plus six is 14. So let's use our fingers again. So we have eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So I put down the four, I carry the one. So we have one plus five is six and six plus seven is 13. So again, you can use your fingers, but this time I'm going to ask you to trust me. We'll move over one more. We add the one to the top, and there's our number. Two, three, four, three, which is the bottom one. Now, some of you might have looked at this and said right away, it's like if we have 15 hundred dollars and seven hundred dollars you know that we're over two thousand dollars so that's one of the things i always like to think about things as money because you're less likely to make mistakes about something you care about so if you converted this into money you would have seen right away that if you had fifteen hundred dollars almost sixteen hundred dollars and then you had seven hundred and sixty more dollars you know that's going to go over two thousand and there's only one number that goes over 2000, which was letter D. So that's a way you could have estimated right away and found that answer. But when you're taking the test, I would recommend writing it out. Take your time. Don't guess. And if you don't need to, don't estimate either, because it's better to get it right and do well on the test.